In this video we're going to show how to evenly space objects using the path constraint tool in a target path in 3D Studio Max. And to do so, we're going to create a bunch of cube-like objects that we're going to space. We're going to create 10 of them. And we are going to create a target circle that we're going to evenly space these objects around. Now, the point of this video is to help get around having to use snapping tools and control points on your objects to do something like this. And then maybe you even have to worry about having you would uh, angle these inward and basically get around a lot of really annoying um, ways to approach this. So our first step is to create a reference object which we're going to use to create our path constraint and for the sake of being able to visually differentiate these objects we're going to use a pyramid so the first step is to go to your motion tab you want your position attribute and you can't quite see it but that controls the XYZ coordinates of this object you want to add a, assign a controller which is going to be your path constraint click add path click your path right click set it and you want the follow command maybe we'll show you why you might not in a minute and the next step is to create a snapshot and you can use the default values here the 0 and 100 means that we're going to be creating reference objects from the 0th animation frame to the 100th uh, you could put 50 here if you only wanted it to be halfway through this animation, but I find that since we're not actually animating, default is fine. Now the copies is a little weird. Basically you want your, the amount of source objects plus one. In this case we have 10, so we want 11. And what this is gonna do is gonna uh, evenly distribute this object and 11 instances and copies throughout this circle. Now, the weird part here is that your object creates one on the zeroth frame, which you don't want, and it also creates a, an overlapping duplicate on the 100th frame, which you don't want. Now, you're left with your source object there, which you do want, so we have 10 in total. Now, to get our source objects, one of the reference objects, we need to use the align tool. And for this first one, we're going to use the menu and then we're going to be using the alt a shortcut key. So you want that. Now here we can see where the follow option from the path constraint came into play. So normally if we hadn't used the follow object to sort of uh, rotate these reference objects in the z-axis, they would all be uh, they would all have a uniform rotation, all basically with this face uh, facing downward rather than inward towards the middle of the circle each time. So if we align with that axis, it will give our uh, reference objects a nice little twist to our, our source objects. And then the only thing left to do is to go through with the align tool and align each source object with a target reference object in whichever order you feel like doing. And then you select all your source objects, use control and I to uh, invert your selection which selects everything else in the scene, delete that and you are left with 10 evenly distributed objects in 3D Studio Max.